Welcome back. Okay, here's where we're, we are in. We are in Del Rio. There's a lot of changes to the game. Last night, I stayed up till about 2.30 this morning. Now I'm retired. I don't have anything to do this morning, so I'm good, right? Up to about 2.30, and what I did was I figured out that I was going to have to find a way to get rid of my trucks, get rid of the trailers, get rid of the mods, and then see if the cargo market would work. Well, that process took hours because I had to sell 354 trucks, 111 trailers, deactivate and unsubscribe to 111 I'm sorry, to 62 mods. That took time. Because when you sell the trucks, you're selling one at a time. One at a time. So, what I did was I sold 344 trucks, not 354. Because I remember somewhere back in the day, that if you don't have at least, I believe it was either five or 10 trucks. I, after I did it, I thought it was maybe five. But you had to have so many trucks or you could not buy trucks online. You had to go to the dealer. If you go to the dealer, you have to travel to the dealer, buy the truck, and then you have to drive to a garage to assign that truck. Or you could, I guess, teleport to that garage. But that would take more time than if I just sold 344 and then bought 10 new ones later and then deleted those 10, if that makes sense. That way I had all new trucks, but I couldn't buy new trucks until I get rid of all the mods. So the next step was to go in and deactivate every mod that I had. And I had 62 mods. I, had, I think I had 49 of them active. <clears throat> Some of them were totally off the off the grid type things that had nothing to do with anything. But I didn't know which mod was causing the conflict. So so what I did was I deactivated all of the mods. Then I went in and I unsubscribed from all of the mods. And then I went and I sold the one hundred and eleven trailers. One. And then I saved the game as no mod game. No mods, right? Came back in and I bought 10 trucks because there's no mods. So I wouldn't be able to buy and upgrade anything that's in a mod that may have been causing conflict. If that makes sense to anybody. I didn't want to come back in and buy a truck and somehow the mod that's causing the problem was still in there. So I waited till after I got rid of all the mods, and then I restarted the game and came back in and bought a stock truck. Put a little bit of paint on it because the paint was not the problem because that came from ATS. I bought that. I bought the rights to paint the truck from ATS or SCS. Actually, I bought it through Steam, but it's from ATS. So... I got rid of the trailers, got rid of the mods, got rid of the trucks. Once I bought 10 tractors, I deleted the other 10 that were still modified. Got rid of those. And then I saved the game again as a no mod game. Because now we don't have any trucks, we don't have any trailers, and we don't have any mods. But I wanted my 354 trucks back, so I went in and I bought the trucks again, one at a time. And then I had to assign drivers. Because all the drivers I had, the 353 other drivers, were sitting with no truck. So I had to go in and I had to assign the trucks to all drivers. It took, literally took hours to do all of this. The other option would have been to delete the profile and start over. But then if you do that, if you delete the profile and you start over, 
then you have zero dollars. You have no money. Which means you're not going to buy a truck. Unless you borrow money from the bank to buy a truck, and then you're going to start out with one truck. You're going to have to build everything back up from the beginning, from scratch. <clears throat> and I said, you know, I didn't really want to do all of that. I wanted to keep what I had. And that's what I did. It took hours. So I came in this morning, or this afternoon, I had stuff to do this morning. Came in this afternoon and I went to the cargo market, found a load, not going anywhere I wanted to go. Didn't matter because I wasn't going to take the load anywhere. My goal here was to see if the cargo market was now working. Remember, we couldn't find out where we're supposed to pick up the load or drop off the load. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, I did that. And the little green flag showed up where to get the load. Drove towards it and said, to skip loading, press enter. It's working. So apparently, all of these problems the last two weeks have actually been mod. What I've read online is that the problem with the mods, and I, I've said this before, this is nothing that I didn't that I didn't understand or believe before. The problem with the mods is they are short lived. What I mean by that is if I if I install a mod and then ATS updates, which they have done often. You know, when I started playing this game, and I believe I started playing this game <clears throat> two or three years ago, when I started playing, I was at like 1.3 version, somewhere in there, 1.3, 1.31, I think. I'd have even been 1.2 something, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where I was when I started. But we're now at 1.46. There have been at least, at least 15 updates in that two to three year period. They're averaging probably one update every three to four months. Guessing. I don't I don't remember where I started with this. So what happens is if the modder that created the mod that you're using doesn't update and keep current with the current version of ATS then it can, not always, but it can cause conflicts. And again, I had 49 active and 62 total mods. Somewhere in there, and I have no idea where, somewhere in there, something was causing conflicts with the 1.46. I haven't played the game. As you know, I haven't really played much online at all in almost a year. And some of that reason was because life, you know, life gets in the way of having fun. And some of it was because I got real tired of having to troubleshoot problems with the game because I use mods. So I've come to the conclusion that the use of mods is, for all intent and purposes, short term. You know, I look at some of the big ATS YouTubers and I notice what they do is that when a mod comes out, they jump on it and they, you know, they, they use them, but they're always changing mods. They keep up with all of that and they get rid of those mods. They do a video or two. They do maybe one video sometimes, maybe two using a specific mod. And then you never hear about that mod again. They move on to something else. I think the reason for that could very well be because the mod outdates and it starts wreaking havoc on your game. I love mods. I do. The only mod that I have that is active right now is my Uncle D garage. That's the only thing that I have on my mods. Let's go over here and show that. Okay, I have one mod that is active and I only have one mod total. 
go in here to mods, and there it is, my Uncle D Logistics mod. As far as I know, that still works, doesn't cause any problems. It's simply a skin. Shouldn't cause any problems, right? Hopefully not. I also noticed that when I was playing the game, that the configuration, you know, let me get out of this and show you what I'm talking about. If you own a truck, you own multiple trucks. And it, let's say you want all those trucks to be identical for whatever reason, OCD or whatever. But you want all your trucks to be the same or you want certain trucks to be the same. Not all of them, but you could have, you could have different ones. You want your trucks to be the same, the same paint job, the same tech specs. There is a way to do that without having to buy each truck to remember what you put on each truck. And that is that you can go in here and I can go to my truck, for instance, and I can copy the config right there. I can copy that. Now, when I would do that, and you go up here and you can do the paint job. Now, right now, all my trucks are already synced. So there's nothing here. Where it would be up here and you can change it and you can do a full configuration. Well, when I would do that before, when I did that before, it crashed the game. When I would want to do a full configuration, it would simply crash the game. So you now I can go in here and I can do this and just say, do you want to spend $8,715,570 to make all your trucks the same? And that would make all 353 trucks the same as mine. Is that what I want to do? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> if I do that, I'm going to spend a lot of money, but all my trucks are going to be the same. They're going to look the same. They're going to be the same, the same everything. Now, is that what I want to do? I don't know. Let's go and look at my, let's go in here and look at my truck. Let's see what my truck is. See, I'm attached to a trailer because I got the trailer, which I'll explain to you in a minute. Okay. Let's go in here and look at my truck. My truck is 500 horsepower. So I probably don't want to make it the same because if you go to this truck, this is 550 horsepower. So let's copy that config. Okay. No available options for this copy configuration. When I would click on that before, it would crash the game. Paint job, all my trucks are already painted the same. Okay, all my trucks are already painted the same. Okay. So, if I go here, you're going to see the same thing. 550 horsepower. They're all the same. They all look the same, and they all have the same, exact same things in them. Okay. If I go to my truck, if I go to my truck, it's a little different. Okay. I have 500 horsepower. I have a six by four, 220 gallon tank where the other ones have a 300 gallon tanks. So I should be able to go in here to this one, for instance, with the 550 horsepower, I should be able to copy the configuration and it should copy mine over. It should, it should do my truck, but it doesn't, it doesn't do it for some reason. Okay, they should all have 550 horsepower. They should all have the same engine specs, the same paint job. Everything should be the same. I don't know why it won't do that, but at least it doesn't crash my game. Where it was doing that before, it would crash. Okay, now on the trailer, I picked up a very stock looking trailer. I didn't buy, I didn't do anything to it. I didn't add any mods to it. Nothing. It is just a stock reefer trailer. Now, I went to pick up a load on the cargo board and everything appeared to be working now. So, you know what they say, if it works, you don't fix it. Now, I do have this trailer as a private trailer. 
meaning if I park it somewhere, no one's going to snag it. Now, I could go back in and buy trailers like I had before, and they could have their own trailers, or I could just leave it, let them come off the load boards and do what they're going to do. Sometimes it's better to do that for the drivers. For me, I could just miss the trailer at any time and take a load with somebody else's trailer. If they are a driver in the game for me, so one of my drivers with one of my trucks, and I'm talking in the game sense, they can't do that. They have to take that trailer back to wherever they came from. They can't just drop it and it'd be there later like trucking companies do all the time. They also have to have a load each way going the exact same place for a return trip. In other words, if, if let's say a driver is from Las Vegas, they're out of the Las Vegas garage, and they're in Del Rio, they bring a load down to Del Rio. If there is not a load going from Del Rio to Las Vegas, they have to deadhead home or what they call heading back with no load. There is no, there is no picking up a load and going some other direction. They have to go back. They go out and they go back to their home terminal. That's it. There's no picking up a load, going somewhere else and make, make it home when you can, like real life. So that's to me, that to me is something that has really dug at me for a while because I feel like they shouldn't do that. I mean, if, if I have garages in all these states, they should be able to go to any one of the garages. They should be able to haul loads anywhere in the country, just like real truckers do. You know, real truck drivers don't take a load one place and then go back home. That's not the norm. It happens, but that's not the norm. That's not the way it works in real life. And so that's one of the things that I, I would like to see them fix in some future edition. And I've said that since I started playing because that's not real life. Real life is not to drive 1,400 miles and not get a load coming back home. When there's plenty of loads, you just can't get one coming back home. So you just dead head home. Now, I have known truck drivers to do that. If they have to be home for a certain reason or whatever, owner operators will do that. But generally speaking, they're not going to drive empty miles because empty miles means empty pockets. It costs you money for fuel. That's one thing they did account for in the game is if they do return home, or head back, as they call it, heading back. They do deduct for the fuel. But there's no income. It's all expense. So that's one thing that I've said since I started playing this game that I would like to see them fix. But that hasn't happened yet. But we do have the cargo freight figured out. It was a mod somewhere. I don't know what mod it was. Don't really care. If I put mods on here, they will be short-lived. It will be one or two videos. I'll use a mod, and then that mod will go bye-bye. Because I am not going to continue to go through this with mods that are compatible today and may or may not be tomorrow. That is beyond aggravation. As you know from the last two weeks of videos, I have been thoroughly aggravated with this game. Early, I mean, just beyond, beyond angry. And I couldn't figure it out. And if, if you have mods installed, as it says there at the bottom, read this. It says, the, this game, the game contains unauthorized modifications. No support is available for modified game. In case of problems or crashes, try to remove your mod packs. Like I said, I had 49 of them. 62 total, I had 49 active. Even when I deactivated them, could they still be causing a problem even though they're not active? I don't know. I don't know. So the only mod that I have right now is Uncle D Logistics. And I can deactivate that at any time. <clears throat> if there's a problem in the game, I can deactivate that. And then I can go get help. 
but you're not going to get help from the message boards or from ATS. You might, you might from the message boards. Let me back up. The message board, the community message board is really good. Those are other players, developers, mod makers, or the modders as they're called. They know what a lot of the problems are. And they are very, very helpful with that. I've seen that on many occasions where I've gone to the board and they're helping people solving config problems and mod problems and problems with the game. They're very good about that on Steam. But ATS will not offer any support if you have any mods installed, including Uncle D's logistics banner. So if I use if I use mods in the future, I, I have to remember that they're going to be short lived. I, I'm not going to get I'm not going to load my trucks down with a lot of mods because then I have to go in and I have to delete. I have to sell all the trucks and I have to demod them, if you will. And that is a long, long, long process. So again, we figured out the problem by not figuring out what caused it. But we have a solution, and the solution was to sell all the trucks, sell all the trailers, demod everything, get rid of the mods, and the game is working again. Again, I could get rid of Uncle D's garage and not have that little thing at the bottom saying there's no support. But then you go back to having an old garage that just says Freight Center or something on it, which doesn't really matter because I don't spend a lot of time at the garage anyway. So I could get rid of that and just be totally mod-free. But that's where we are. The game is working. Now we have, I believe we have how many cities left? How many cities do we have left to travel to? Well, this isn't going to tell me, is it? That's not going to tell me. Um, let me see how many more cities we have. <clears throat> Let's see how many more cities we have. We have two, four, six, seven more cities. In the state of Texas, we have seven more in order to knock out every city or discover every city in the state of Texas. I have not done that in New Mexico. I, I don't think I've done it. I missed one in Wyoming. Yeah, I don't think I have any other states where I've had every city. So... <clears throat> but that is my goal is to discover every city in the state of Texas. And then maybe we'll go over and we'll hit some, you know, if we end up in El Paso, or we end up in Delhart, maybe we could start knocking out some of these other cities. I have been to Farmington. I know I've been to Farmington and I know I've been to Santa Fe. I've been to these places, but for some reason they're not showing up as being discovered. But I know that I've delivered to Farmington. No, I did because I remember driving up there. It was, a, it was a long time ago, but I have been there. I don't know why it's not showing up on here. But anyhow, um, yeah, that's where we are, folks. We have solved the problem without ever knowing what caused it. And I want to wrap this one up because we're about 24 minutes into the video. But I want to let everybody know that I apologize for being angry, but it was extremely frustrating trying to figure out what to do to fix the problem. I still have a problem with my um, capture software. If I were to hit the F10 button with the F10 key to stop the capture software, it will minimize my game. So I may have to go in and change that key to something else because it may be conflicting with the game. Maybe F10 is a quick escape. In case you're at work, you know, and your boss walks in, which I'm not because I'm retired. But if your boss walks in, you have to get out of the game real quick. You hit F10 and the game disappears. And he thinks, that, you know, your boss going to think you're working. So I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I need to change that to another key. I don't know. But there's a conflict with that. But I'm not really worried about that. My, my uh, main concern right now is to get the game so it works. But anyway, we will talk to you on the next one, and uh, hopefully you'll subscribe, share, like this video because it helps with the algorithms. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on that, uh, what 
uh, helps my videos is people liking or even disliking my video. Uh, commenting helps. And, of course, subscribing always helps because uh, I want to get to that 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of views. Or they have a new one now that I saw. And it's 10 million, 10 million views of a short. 10 million views on a short. Good luck with that one, folks. You can't get a thousand, you can't get uh, 4,000 hours of views on videos, but they think you can get 10 million views on shorts. Wow. Anyhow, I'm out of here. Uh, appreciate everybody watching. And again, I apologize for the anger issues last week, but it was extremely frustrating trying to figure out how to get the game to work. And we will catch you on the next one. See you when we see you.